Greetings from the Black Holes of South Dakota. United States of Advertising, Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. What you're looking at here is my 22 foot high capacitively loaded vertical antenna. Uh, capacitively loaded in such a way that it resonates on 14 megahertz. Uh, it's a little longer than a quarter of a wave, so it gets the current loop a little bit above the base of the antenna. I've talked about this before, but what I'd like to talk about here just briefly is lightning. I can easily pull this antenna out of the slot and take it down in the event of uh, nearby thunderstorms. Of course, I don't want to wait too long and try to take it down when the storm is upon me. But nevertheless, uh, <clears throat> it's easy to do. You just pull it right out of there. Right out of that where those turnbuckles are. Just slide that right up out of there and lay it down like this other uh, antenna down here, which is a a stick that uh, I can put in there in place of the other one and get it to uh, work on uh, 24 and 50 megahertz. Oddly, a couple of weird pair of resonance there. <clears throat> There's a car going by on this road that never has any traffic. Every time I make a video out here, a car goes by. But lightning I, has struck a couple of people on beaches lately, and uh, that always seems to happen in the summer. And uh, there was a lightning expert on uh, national public radio, South Dakota public radio, talking about lightning and saying that metal does not specifically attract lightning. Well, I have one thing that I've learned. If, if I've learned nothing else about lightning, I've learned this much. Lightning makes its own rules. I repeat, lightning makes its own rules. It has no concern about the laws of physics. It will strike where it feels like it. Just like the Thunderbirds used to flash their eyes at the black holes of South Dakota way back in the... before it was even a state. The Native Americans talked about the Thunderbirds flashing their anger from their eyes. Well, it might as well be like that. That's just about how it works. Now all we got to do is figure out what the Thunderbirds are thinking. And I think that's beyond our capabilities. So when it comes to lightning, beware, it makes its own rules. Assume the worst, and you'll come out the best. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, signing off until next time, 73, and so long.